Facts. This is P. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe now. That way you'll be up to date with all our latest unboxing and review videos. Also click or tap the notification bell. That way you'll have an alert on all your smart devices such as your smart watch, your smartphone, or your tablet, or all the above. All right, when new content is available. So today is Wednesday, Woo Wednesday, um, October the 3rd, 2024. And we have an unboxing today. You see what it is in the title? Part of the Ugly Duckling Pack, um, which consisted of about three or four sneakers. I've reviewed all of them except for this one. So they basically retroed these um, from when it was first released. I think this one was actually released in 2001 by Nike. These are Donk Lows, by the way. So you're gonna have your typical box, nothing special about it. Just your tangerine like red with your Nike and your swoosh and white. And on this side, your content label, which only has the men's size on it. Sometimes you'll get the men's and women's. So maybe they just wanted to keep it to the original, the way it was released. Since this is a man's shoe, sneaker, athletic shoe, Nike Dunk Low SP, and it's going to be black and ceramic. I guess ceramic tiles, I think. But no, men's size 10. My true size is nine and a half, but I went a half size up because these may be for a friend. Um, this would convert into a size 11 and a half for women. We'll flip the lid, pull the paper down. I ordered these from Nike, by the way. When we say Nike, and this is new, like this whole, whoa, premium. Um, this whole cult culture, sneaker culture, may be new to you. Um, you're tuning in for the first time, listening and being educated at the same time. And you want to start picking up some sneakers, starting a little collection or to wear or to wear casually. Um, or maybe these released back in the day, 2001, and you wasn't able to get a pair of in, but you want to know a little bit more history about the shoe. You remember, you know the color, um, as I just stated, black ceramic, which is going to be the orange and this dark green that actually really looks like the color of, um, I guess an orange and black duck. Well, no, green and black duck with the orange beak, you know. So, um, yeah, so if you remember the children's book, The Ugly Duckling, you had all the white ducks, the pretty mother white swan, and then this color duck that was called ugly for some reason, uh, with the black and the green, even though it had the orange beak, like all the others. <clears throat> but anyway, so the Ugly Duckling, um, they're using the model of your Dunk Low. So the Dunk Low itself, um, based off the Dunk High from the early 80s, mid 80s, 84, 85, uh, where they started with basically 10 colors, your black and white, your blue and white, your red and white, um, University UNC blue and white and different shades of it, sky blue and white, so forth and so on. They did the same thing with the dunks, which was in leather. Um, and because of the flat outsole, skaters gravita gravitated to the style, the ergonomics of the shoe, being flat on the skateboard, um, and being more ergonomic for use, and just the look of the shoe. So they came out with not only your regular Dunk, your Dunk SBs, which are usually using premium materials like this, but wider because uh, a little bit because of the cushioning and extra padding on um, in the sock liner, which this one feels like it has more padding than normal, I think, um, but it doesn't have the puffy tongue, but it definitely has the SB vibes your skateboard um, shoe vibes. But yeah, we'll start from the outsole. Flat outsole, as I mentioned, and the orange, everything is orange, from the heel to the arch, where you can see Nike, the Nike swoosh, um, to the pivot point and ball area of your foot, leading to where your toes would be, 
We got subtle stars right here, still in the orange in the front. Smooth. I think if it hit the more distinctive stars, that would be fire on here. But anyway, your midsole is in this white, um, I would say glacier or frost white. And the stitching is in white as well, which I think they could have offset it with the black, the green, or the orange. But it's cool. So basically, we got orange, white. Then leading to your mud guard and this premium suede. The suede really does feel like a high quality. It gives extra weight to the shoe versus your leather pandas, your UNCs, and um, your typical SB dunks. It's not as premium or have the tumble leather, just a smooth leather. So this gives more weight, which by the way, the entire upper is suede. So you definitely want to get you some sort of water repellent, right? from your local sneaker shop or store, such as Foot Locker, the shoe department even. Um, you know, order some online through um, eBay and just shake it, hold it about seven inches away and miss the entire upper. That way, um, if you get caught in the rain or any type of spills or drink or beverage spills, you know, you're chilling in Starbucks, thinking you're standing with your sneakers on, you got your black um, slim fit jeans, and because it's autumn, you have your flannel on, right? Or maybe your scream t-shirt since Halloween is a few weeks away, and this black and orange definitely complements uh, the Halloween theme if you celebrate Halloween. But anyway, keep your upper on point, right? So orange, your toe box is going to be in black, perforated for airflow, right? and breathability throughout the shoe. And your quarter panels is in black. And this part in the black back is more like a mesh black, as well as your tongue, which is super thin and black. Now the third color, well, actually your fourth color, if you consider the white, white, orange, black, and green. Your swoosh is gonna be green, wraps around the heel, and your Nike tag in the back in green, Nike stitched in black, embroidered on the heel, and the medial side is the same color blocking. Orange, black, it's dark gray. All right, so then you have your flat laces in green, and this is your stock lacing. So imagine when you relace it, add a little style to it um, by flaring it out some. Maybe you have this color green and an oval lace to really give it and do a lace swap and really give it that um, SB vibe, right? And the interior sock liner, orange with a little bit of padding and um, your insole is orange with Nike and the swoosh in black. And that's basically it for the ceramic um, part of the Ugly Duckling pack premium materials, your outer and your medial side. Um, the comfort level on this sneaker, uh, yeah, I think this model is based back in the day, even though it was remanufactured and made. If you're used to flat out soles and um, you don't really get that much cushioning cushion on the heel, uh, the comfort level is not going to be your favorite unless you wear two pair of socks and you're on carpet all day. But the carpet, hardwood floors, um, pavement, what else? Tile, ceramics, um, cement. Just about anything if you're walking or standing is going to be better than if you're on concrete for a long period of time, depending on your age and the condition of your feet. So just keep that in mind as far as uh, comfort level. And as I mentioned before, um, black jeans, black pants, you get a flannel with all these colors in it. Or maybe you can find a hoodie, or orange hoodie, or black hoodie. Black it out, let the um, stickers speak for itself. Maybe a toboggan, something like that. Entering the fall, football games. You know, it's gonna get chilly after halftime at the high school games and college games depending on the location of the school or university. But um, yeah, 
these are, are fire in my opinion. No complaints. I like the um, materials. Your retail is going to be at 110 plus tax and depending on where you order from the shipping. Uh, you may be able to find these in person depending um, what store you go to and the location. Um, but the question is where you find them in your size. But stay blessed. Victory. Hope you enjoyed this um, video. And we got more on the way. Peace and love. All right. Your Dunklo Ceramic Ugly Duckling Pack. Let's go. Shout out to Trey John on the beat. Follow me on Instagram at p.oastman and check out my eBay store um, in the description below. Just follow those links. And that's pretty about it. Much it. Let's go. Whoa. Driving in the whip, and I'm with my favorite chick. She don't never talk back, she never give me no lip. Matter of fact, she can't talk, matter of fact, she can't walk. My baby girl, Tansy, what the fuck you thought? Time for me to chill, time for us to build. We about to hit the mall, and we about to keep it real. Check it, that's my lady, my favorite, my number one, the only one. And I lost the flow, but I'm gonna bring it back to you later. Peace.